if you want to see how I made this beautiful gown, keep watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, these are the fabrics I'll be using. I'll be making use of these two fabrics. So that's that. So I'll go ahead and keep this aside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark both the measurement for the front and for the back panel. I'm going to mark it here. As you can see, I folded it. So after marking it here, I'm going to place it on it. That I'm going to fold again, then place it, then go ahead and cut the back before going ahead to cut the front. So that's that. So what I'm going to do first is to take, um, start with my borderline. So after taking the measurement, that's from um, for the starting point. What I'm going to do next is to measure from the shoulder to the from the shoulder to the bust. Shoulder to the bust is 12.5. This is 12.5. Then from the shoulder to the hip, it's um 26 inches. This 26 inches. Then from the shoulder to the full length of the dress is 55. But, you know, I have to shift this fabric for you to see. So I'm going to leave that of the full length. So when I'm shifting later, you get to see. But what I did now is just shoulder to bust 12.5, shoulder to um, hip 26 inches. So what I'm going to do is, I'm also going to note it here because I want to have a straight line. 12.5, 26. So I'm going to use my ruler and connect so after connecting what i'm going to do next is to take my shoulder slant like always i'll first of all mark three then go ahead and take the shoulder. The shoulder I'm using is um, 14. So 14 divided by 2 is 7 plus half inch um, sewing allowance. What I used to add and um, join it to the sleeve is 7.5. So this is 7.5. And then I'll come down by 1. That's my shoulder slants. Then connect it to this place I marked 3. So, um, the upper bust is, I'm going to divide her bust, that's for, to get the, um, upper bust line. What I'm going to do is her bust, her bust divide by 6 plus 1.5 is going to give me 8.3. So, 8.3, I'll just make it 8.25, which is here, 8.25. You know, I, I'm, I started here, not here, I started here. So if I'm to start here, it will be 9.25, which is this. So here, I'm going to mark it. Now go ahead and connect. Then I also come down. I want to have a straight line, so I'll still take note of my measurements. So to get to get my armhole, what I'll do is I'll I'll take the midpoint of this. This 8.25. So the midpoint will be somewhere here. 4.1 point something. So it's here. So for the front arm hole, I'm going to come in by three quarter. And then to know where the curve is going to end, I'm going to divide her bust by um four. Her bust is for one. 41 divided by 4 is going to give me 10.25. 10.25. But I'm going to add 0 0.25 for each allowance, which is a total of 10.5. Here, 10.5. So that's where the curve will be. So I'll use my ruler to connect.
so that so this for the front armhole then for the back armhole i'm just going to connect it here i'm not going to use this it's here So this is the front armhole and this is for the back armhole. Then for the neckline, the neckline I'll be using is, I will be using a depth of 4.5. 4.5, which is this. Then the width I'll be using 4. You know we have 3 here, which is what we marked here. So I'll just go ahead and add 1. front neckline so for the back neckline it's going to have the same width with the front but the depth is going to i'm going to use um three let me use three then i'll go ahead to connect it to this So this is the front neckline and this is the back neckline and then her, um, her hip her hip is 48 48 divided by 4 is going to give us 12 12 so 12 this is good so you know that this is not actually a fitted um gown so it's uh, uh it's going to be free so what i'm going to do is depending on how free you want it to be my i'm going to add extra um two inch you can decide to use two inch 2.5 it, it all depends on how free you want it to be so my i can decide to make my okay let me use 2.5 i added extra 2.5 like i said earlier her hip is 48 48 divided by 4 is 12 12 so, so i'm adding extra 2.5 you know it's not a fitted gown so it's going to be a little bit free so which is 14.5 so that is that and then here it's um what i'm going to do next is to add um the seam allowance so the seam allowance what i'll add is just i'll go ahead and add two this is two in two inch seam allowance then for here i'll just go ahead and also add two two so that, that so what i'll do is to connect this to this then mark it down You can see, even if we are to mark, use the um, the bust line, it's just to put in our bust measurement, which is um, 41 divided by 4, which is 10.25. Like I said, I added extra 2.5 inch for each allowance, which is this. You know, you mark it here. And then extra 2 inch seam allowance. So it's the same thing with this. So virtually we didn't... There's no need of this. So you see, this is this will also give us same thing here. You see it. So that's it. So what I'll do is just to connect it. So after connecting it, what you just do it, you just you know try and take it down take it you know mark it down but first before i shift it let me go ahead and add the the half inch seam allowance for the shoulder is here here So I'm going to shift this to take it to down to the full length. So like I said earlier, the full length of the dress is 55. So this is 55. And I'm going to add one inch for the, you know, hemming allowance, which is 56. So this is 56. I'm also going to note something here. So I'll go ahead and connect. I hope you can see it.
so this is the full length of the dress i hope you can see it now so what i'll do is just you know come here a little bit and curve then mark it down mark it down so after marking it down i'll go ahead and cut but take note that when cutting i'm going to cut for that of the back panel first before cutting that of the front panel so you will see the way i'm going to do it So first of all, cut the back neckline. Then the back arm hook. As you can see i folded another and i went ahead to place this that we marked earlier on top so the only difference is that this one this one now there is a space here that's for the zip allowance i have the I, I want the back to have a zip allowance so that's it but it's not actually compulsory you can decide not to you can decide that your own might not have a zip allowance it depends on how stretchy your material is so that is that so what I'll just do is I what I'll do is to go ahead and cut. You see it? Just this for the zip allowance. So I'll just go ahead and cut. Also take note that when I was cutting this, I used the back panel for it. You see it? This is the back armhole, this is the front armhole, this is the back neckline, this is the front neckline. So I'm going to paste, place and cut. So I'm done. So what I'll do is for the back panel, I'll go ahead and open it up. That's the back. So this is for the back, the back panel. There will be a zip at the back. So that's that. And I remember that the zip is actually optional. So for the front panel, I'll go ahead and then cut the neck. You know, the neck is deeper than that of the back panel, so this is it. And also the armhole. So that is that. So this is our front panel. So the next is how we want to attach our anchor to it, anchor fabric to it. So there are different ways to do it. You can decide to, you know, just cut out your fabric, just place it on top and top stitch. Or you can decide to like, you know, cut it out and then attach the anchor to it and join it back together. It all depends on which you want to do. So for my, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, you know, cut this out, place the anchor on top, then stitch it back together. I don't want to, you know, top stitch on it. I don't want to top stitch on it. So, that's that. So, what I'm going to do is, depending on where you want your, your, the anchor to start from. So, mine, I'll, I'll just make use of our upper boss. That's where it's going to start. So, I'm just going to cut out here. I'm going to cut out here. Cut out here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to divide this into two. So that is that. So take note that you have to note where you want the anchor to be, whether on the left side or on the right side. This is what this is one I'm going to use. This one I'm going to use. 
So I'm going to keep this aside. So after placing it on it, you can see, I'll go ahead and cut. So, this is it. This is it. Take note that always mark, always note the wrong side of your fabric. This is the wrong side of my fabric. This is the wrong side of my fabric. So if I'm to join it, what I'm going to do is, you know, this is how it was earlier. I'm going to put it like this. Make sure you arrange it properly. So what you do is to join this together. You join it, give it a good press. It's going to open. Then you also come and, come and attach this to it when you attach it. So, and then you now join that of the back panel too. So that is that. So let me go to the sewing machine and do that. And also you can decide to, you know, fix a pocket. Pocket is actually optional. You can decide to fix your pocket or not. So that is it. So as you can see, I'm done with the clothes. You can see how beautiful it looks. I've joined them together. I've joined the sleeve. This is a normal sleeve. I already have a detailed tutorial on how to um, um, draft your basic sleeve. So you can do well to check out the video. I'm going to put the link on the description box. So I already have a video for that. You can see it. So that's that. And also, this is the, this is how it looks. You can see it. Also, I added a pocket to the two sides. So this one and this is the second one i added a pocket so that is that i hope you learned something from this video if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up like and share with your friends so if you come your way with another interesting sewing tutorial do have a lovely lovely day bye bye